James 1.5 says, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Now, you may have heard this verse before. It's one of those kind of feel-good verses, and people read it and think, awesome, all I have to do is ask? Well, yes and no. Let's continue reading in verses 6 through 8. But when you ask him, be sure that your faith is in God alone. Do not waver, for a person with divided loyalty is unsettled as a wave of the sea that is blown and tossed by the wind. Such people should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Their loyalty is divided between God and the world, and they are unstable in everything they do. Can you see why people stop at verse 5? Can't we just hang out there in that verse where God is generous and all I have to do is ask? That would be easy, wouldn't it? But maybe you have something in your life, some sin, some burden, something that is taking priority over God. Maybe you've even tried giving that thing to God. You've laid it at his feet, but you keep going back and picking it up. Maybe you're reacting out of fear or lack of trust in God. Or maybe it's because you're like Linus from the old Charlie Brown cartoon and that thing has become a safety blanket and you just can't imagine your life without it. We must have a strong foundation in the Lord and in his word. Your faith, loyalty, and trust must be completely in God, not wavering like the seas. Because if you're living your life half in the world and half in the church, you're putting your faith in God one minute and then trying to control things on your own the next. And it says such people should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. But then it goes on and says in verse 12, God blesses those who patiently endure testing and temptation. Afterward, they will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. Thank you.